So baptism, it washes you. How does it wash you? I mean, you, you can't just go to the supermarket, grab a bottle of water, dunk it on yourself and say, I'm washed of my sins. How does the water of holy baptism cleanse you, wash you of your original sin and your actual sins? All the sins you commit, meaning when you are absolved and forgiven, restored in that baptismal grace. How does the water do such great things? That's how Luther asked it. Well, it's not just the water. The water is combined with God's word. When you're baptized, your pastor pours the water or sprinkles it, however you want to say it. He pours it over your head and says, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I baptize you. You are baptized. You are washed in the name of your God. That water combined with that word, that word that Jesus gave to the apostles as he sent them out to make disciples of all nations, as we read in Matthew 28. Go and baptize in the name of the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That name combined with the water is a cleansing flood that washes away all of your sins. That's what baptism is for you. Water, God's word, combined, you're cleansed, you're washed, you're forgiven. It's always fun times.